Hello and welcome to Brave in the Mail podcast. Coming at you from Anchorage, Alaska, this podcast will destroy fascists. So if you're a fascist, you better put your earplugs in. We're going to be taking deep dives into race, into politics, and the dynamics of my mayonnaise warfare. And I will complain about social media all the time. I'm your hostess with Mostis. Let's do it. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Bianca, the one and only. And well, sure, there are other Biancas in the world, but none of them are me and none of them are like me. <laughs> There's only one me and you're stuck with me. It's been like a whole two weeks since I last spoke to you. And I've got myself into like all kinds of trouble. And I really don't feel like it's my fault. Um, you know, I have this an inability to shut up ever, especially when I think I'm right. So, you know, everybody hates me, except the people that don't, and whatever, I, I'll get through this. <laughs> hmm. or maybe I'll learn to shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So it gets me t- in like 20 types of trouble, like per minute. Um, but it's also funny as fuck. So here we are, episode two. Hey, um, we got so much to catch up on that I'm going to have to record another one after this. And then another one after that and like try to fit everything in there. Um, Cause like, I've honestly forgot everything that happened in like the last week. And um, here we are two weeks later. Like, I don't even remember what happened this morning, you know? Um, oh, Bernie told a baby to shut up, but that was like days ago. <laughs> so here we are episode two diamond and silk where that was one of the things that got me in trouble. I wrote an article like three weeks ago about Diamond and Silk being um, uh, white, black, white nationalists, right? So um, I'm going to have to read some of it to you. And here is the title. Pretty sure Diamond and Silk are black, white nationalists. Okay. And, you know, I'm always super tired of everything like me, you, I'm tired of everything, tired of myself, tired of the world, tired of Twitter. So it's I'm getting super tired of Diamond and Silk, especially since at this point, they've been running this con long enough for me to accidentally remember both of their real government names. Lynette Hardaway, fucking Diamond, and Rochelle Richardson, goddamn Silk. I have long despised both trolls. I've hated their hair, their animal print, their dumb facial expressions, their jigging and jiving. But most of all, I have hated the way they prop up the most vile white supremacy in our government. And, you know, I went on to say things about, you know, how we don't call them out because we don't really know what to say. Because, like, I don't know. I honestly, I'm like, I feel racist too. But like, I'm like, uh uh-uh, I'm black. I'm, I can call you out. You're not going to get away with this forever. And I don't care if what they say about me. So whatever. So they got to be stopped. Um, so I did call them the black faces of white nationalism. And, you know, I had some really good lines in here that I thought were hilarious. That most of, most of the people that read it, they didn't even say anything. They said things about Punkin and Duncan. And like, that was like these kids I knew when I was little. They were twins. Yeah. Oh, whatever. That wasn't even that clever. Everybody liked it. Um, So, yeah, what they were doing with that article was trying to not only perform blackness for the white audience, you know, hey, I'm black, I'm black, I'm here on your side, pay me money, come to my shows. Like, I'm cool with all that. Do what you got to do. Don't start fucking with other people of color. Don't bother Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Don't fuck with Elon Omar. Leave them the fuck alone. You know, whatever my um, back and forth with AOC is, you know, she she don't deserve these two. I don't even know what to call them. Little puppets ta- talking crazy about her. They, they, mm-mm. And then um, uh, I said a lot of things in this article. If you have not read the article, let me know. I will go ahead and get that to you. PDF form or just get you a link, whatever you need. 
because <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. And I don't want to read too much of it to you because like, it's so much better if you read it for yourself because it, it's a whole thing, you know? Um, I woke up out of bed, like in the middle of the night, like I just got to write about them because they had said something that get on my nerves They, they uh, the, with the Democrats. Um, they're the ones that for white supremacy, they call it my president, white supremacy. Like, uh, say white supremacist, bitch, get your fucking suffixes together. Jesus Christ. So like they have, you know, I'm not, I don't usually like to make fun of the way people talk. But if you're going to go on stage and you're going to call people dummy crats and everybody's stupid compared to you, bitch, you better have your um, grammar tight or at least know it, you know? So they're dumb and dumber -er. and um, shit, Ben Carson, I don't know what the fuck he's still doing there. I feel bad for him. Like he's a hostage. But then I think about that furniture he bought. Yeah. Not so much a hostage. So I did call them the bootleg Bobsy tw twins. And um, I want full credit for that. Anytime somebody uses that, like uh, they should send me a dime in the mail taped to a piece of paper. That's it. So, um, yeah, he was having problems. Um, Trump was having problems because ASAP Rocky didn't come through. And I saw these two little bewigged things getting retweeted and retweeted. I said, oh. He's just trying to use these two little things uh, to prompt, pump up his, his uh, black cred. And I'm, I'm just really not having it right now. Um, Trump doesn't have any black creds. Um, Kanye is a very, I don't know how to say this. He's different. So we're not going to really count that as actual support. You know, this is just like, to me, I saw cry for help. You know, whatever Kanye does that I don't like, I just consider it a cry for help. And, you know, I try not to pay attention to it. I'm not going to sit up there calling him names like y'all do, you know, because I don't really feel like it's appropriate when you're dealing with somebody who has certain issue. You know, yes, he's wrong for a lot of the stuff he does. But, yeah, let's not let's not call him crazy names because I'm I'm getting tired of name calling. Like I make things up that are funny. But, like, I'm just tired of the um, the name-calling. Speaking of name-calling, Bernie Sanders, um, he wrote a book. And I guess he wrote this book in the 90s. And in the book, he says some stuff about, um, you know, uh, they gave the poor white man, yeah, I'm not even going to say it. They gave him black people to... Um, you know, worry about and, and fight against and, and feel threatened by. And in that way they could pick their pocket and, you know, whatever. Um, and they made them feel superior to us. But the way he said it, Bernie uses the full word that we don't even use. Black people don't put the ER at the end. Oh, you gotta be like acting out at your mama's funeral. You we, we're not doing that. I don't know what, I don't know where you guys got that idea that it's okay for you to write that down. If you're making some point about how poor white people are oppressed, but it's not okay. I don't care how many marches you went on and how many black and white photographs you have. It's not, it's not what's up. Okay. That's not ever going to be what's up. Don't write that out. Okay. Don't say it. We don't need the effect. Okay. Who are you helping? Did you get all those white people to do anything? Did they vote for you or whatever? Or a Democrat? No. No. You just writing books and you just like doing shit that triggers people for the effect because you're an angry man and you, you just, you're just you just an asshole, Senator Sanders. You're just an asshole. And the case in point about you being a fucking asshole. Okay, because I wasn't even going to do this. But I have to say something. The way you talk to that baby, that was a baby. It was a baby. What the fuck? You expect the baby to keep it down or them to turn the volume down on the baby? You should have stayed around with your baby when you had a baby. Then you would know that that does not work. And it's not really funny. Okay? Because if you're the parent with the child going, ah, because they're like, shut up, Bernie. You, you like, damn, don't be rude, you know, and you already feeling on the spot. 
And then here, Bernie got to point you out more, like, keep it down. Like, shut up, Bernie. Okay, why don't you go home? I've been waiting for you to go home for four years. When is you going to end your campaign for the 16 to the 2016 nomination? Shit. Well, that's been like my main grievance this week. Bernie being mean to babies, which meant that his his stands had to come. Oh, here they come. Oh, I'm a I'm a robot. Um, they come trying to tell me how people shouldn't take their babies outside. They shouldn't take their babies to events. They shouldn't take babies to town halls, malls, uh, mama's house, anywhere. You just you should just stay locked up in the room if you had a baby. I'm like, ain't this about a bitch? Okay. And then I'm like, well, what about the poor people? They can't afford babysitters. They can't come and participate in democracy. I never did get an answer to that. Oh, elitist ass socialism. That's the worst socialism I've ever, ever, ever seen. Well, no, wait. Can't say that, can I? Yeah, I guess they do have, they had bread lines and, you know, Bernie socialism is just imaginary. It's never going to happen. So I guess it's not as dangerous. Not that I'm even against socialism. Um, I'm against these, um, these socialists. I don't like them. Um, I don't really like Bernie very much. You know, I don't hate him because I won the Bernie war by having, oh, when I, I wrote that article, TYT enjoyed it and they said some very nice things about me. And I won the Bernie War. So, yeah, that whole thing, it's over me and Bernie. Hi, Bernie people. It's fucking over, dude. I don't even notice you guys anymore. Everybody's saying they're being trolled. I have nothing going on. So, yeah, Bernie's been mean to that baby and I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate his fans coming to tell us that we needed to hoist ourselves inside until I guess the baby's weaned. Like y'all are, uh, this is some regressive shit. I guess all we need to do is just take our shoes off and make Bernie's sandwich. Since we stuck in the kitchen, I will never listen to Bernie's people about anything. So yeah, that'll never happen. We have the climate change uh, town hall. I guess we're not having a, um, climate change debate because why why do we want to um they've already had the town hall that format is better um if you have a debate on cnn they are going to cut you off after 45 seconds no matter what you just said you might say you might have been coughing for 30 seconds they're sorry your time's up they don't care it might have been somebody came in a masked man screaming they don't care burnt up your time so CNN is, is they wilding, you know, um, honestly, Don Lemon has been wilding for a long time. I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, yeah. Every once in a while I catch him. I'd be like, what'd you say now? She's not really, really black. How black is you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. They don't want you to do that. So stop it. Okay. Cause we can all, we can start, uh, comparing and contrasting and you don't want that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it ain't based off that, is it? Yeah. That's another thing. Okay. I ain't going to drag Liz Warren no more. Yes, I am. Liz Warren, her stands have finally left me alone. I think they finally blocked me because I don't really give a fuck. Right. And I'm going to say what I have to say. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry to hear that. Your day is going bad. You know, it's not going to change. I'm going to always just keep doing it. I don't know why you even try to tell me what to say. Cause I just start hating you. Like, bitch, who is you? Missy Annie. Ooh, go, go watch roots. If you want to know about Missy Annie, go, go watch it. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, everybody's been acting like Missy Annie lately. And you know what? That is the thing that pisses me the most, that pisses me off the most. It's not what she did. Okay, because that's already bad enough. And I feel like she didn't handle it right. And that she could go back and correct some of her past mistakes. She needs to be open and honest about what she was doing. You know, it doesn't really, uh, her stories about her, her, her mama said and her ground, that don't mean nothing to black people. Okay, we don't care what your mama, step cousin, your uh, sister's baby's daddy's um, great aunt said. We don't care. We want to know facts. 
because we, we have white people always with these um their their feelings and um stories and you know some piece of paper they found behind the the old stove and that gives them claim to something and y'all need to stop ain't nobody if we're not claiming you don't claim us okay thank you okay it's not about who you claim or what you you your, your mama said it's about what we say and if we don't feel like you one of us you just not one of us if you they don't feel like you one of them you not one of them okay and that's just life you didn't grow up with them didn't grow up like them didn't have the same experiences you're not included you didn't include them you're not include them in your whiteness so you might as well just back the fuck on up okay let me see you include one biracial black per person in whiteness first let's see that y'all still call obama the black president you know you on you only know really about his mama his mama's the main one that raised him okay the white woman you don't never call him white why are you gonna call yourself indian you crazy okay so i'm gonna stop being mean okay that's my, it, you know what? It ain't even what she did because I, I've seen white girls do this all the time in my life. And I've had them do the same thing to me where they're like, I'm a strong black woman. I had to Google her and find her um, propped up beside some dr dressage horses up in Montana. I was like, girl, you over here white as hell. She was, she was very white. Okay. And, um, she said something about, oh, I knew it because when I was a kid, some boy said I had nappy hair. What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't even start that shit. Because then we're going to have Irish people knocking on your door like, what you say? Nicole Kidman looking at you side eye. What you mean? Your hair was not nappy. Okay, so white people have delusions. Okay. About what nappy hair means. It doesn't mean whatever you guys think it does. You're wrong. Just, shh, you don't have nappy hair. Okay. Um, Diamond and Silk, that was a good thing. I really, I feel like I uh, got a lot of mileage off of that. And I was really happy about that. Um, then the climate, the climate thing, you know, it was okay, but it lasted entirely too long. And they want to do a debate on this topic. You know what? There's not enough time left on earth. You know, climate change is moving too fast for us to even debate it. I'm sorry it's over. No, you guys, why, what, why would we want to do that again? You know, that was like seven hours and we got to, you want to do it again? What, who is this, this, what is this? Some plot or something? Is somebody super good at climate change? I don't know. Okay. I, everybody said Bernie did great. I, I didn't really see it. He did the same. Um, let me give you the grades that I graded him. Okay. So we will start up here. Oh, all the people that came were, Castro, Yang, Harris, Klobuchar, Biden, Bernie, Warren, Pete, Beto, Booker. Okay. So they each had like um, a, a moderator would do two of them. And then the next one would do the next two. I forgot who did who. I don't remember. I think Kamala had a, uh, one of the girls. Okay. Mm. So first of all, Castro. He did very well. He had some good ideas. Um, I feel like he he had a really clean and um, clean performance right there, and um, he didn't really get tripped up on much. He's really really good. Um, I gave him. I think I gave him an A. Um, Yang, he did his he did his little universal basic uh, basic income thing, which I agree with. Um, but. Like he didn't really come up with too many solutions that we actually have the technology for. I mean, like, what do you no, I'm I gave him like a C. Kamala, she did really good. I felt like she got an A. Um, there was a couple things that she got tripped up on, and that was the straw ban. You know, I think people need to just chill the fuck out. Um and start talking to each other a little bit more instead of talking at each other because they're not hearing what each other's saying. You have one side saying, oh, we have to ban them now um, because of this, this, and that. And we have substitutes and replacements. But these are not people that would actually have to use those replacements because they have a medical condition. These are able-bodied people, people that don't have any mouth issues, um, any other kind of issues, right? So 
they're they're perfectly fine with it and they can use those other straws. I think they're made they're corn based. Some people have allergies to corn. And I think those straws don't hold up as well. So you have people that can't move any of their limbs and that's how they get water. You they need one of those bendy straws. They need a plastic bendy straw. Um they get contact dermatitis all the time because you know if you can't move your limbs you're always going to have some issues with your skin. So people need to check themselves and also check your privilege on this situation. Because um, I was told, you know, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. This is what's up. This was up. This was up. And, you know, I'm cool with that. You know, inform me so I don't walk around just saying stuff, looking like an asshole. I really hate that. I'd rather just be told, hey, you're being an asshole. Shh. Than to like walk around over and over for days and days and days spouting the same bullshit. I'm not Bernie. I don't do that. So Kamala did pretty good. Amy, God, man, I don't remember. That was only a few days ago. Oh my God, I always forget what Amy says. Um, she, I guess she did go back with the Paris climate agreements. Oh, whatever. Biden. What the fuck was Biden talking? What the fuck was wrong with Biden? Okay. I am one to talk shit. But I couldn't really talk shit about Biden because I was literally concerned. I was like, uh-oh. I started feeling sad. Like, is he okay? Because he had his this eye. Which, look, he's talking and stuff's going. His eye started like filling up with blood. I said, oh, shit. What the fuck is about to happen? I'm so glad nothing bad happened. But you know what? You can't keep putting me through this. I can't spend four years like, well, why is Biden's eyes bleed? What, uh, Bianca, I'm not going to speculate further on that. <clears throat> yeah. Bernie Sanders, how would he deal with the climate, uh, the congressional fil filibus filibuster? When it came to climate legislation, we're going to need to get to 60 votes to save the planet. If that's your question, no, we will not. Bernie, that is, what the fuck is the answer is the question. Answer the fucking question. How are you going to pass it? This is Warren's problem too. You can't ask her shit about shit. She just goes on and on. You got to fight and we're going to fight and fight. Okay, I get it. You know, but fight how? What are these strategies? What does the fight look like? Y'all making me nervous. Like y'all just think you can just hmm, bullshit your way through everything. And this has been a oh, an epidemic in the last 10 years. People seem to feel like since Barack Obama won, anybody can win. And they don't have to actually be that good at anything. Um. I don't even know why Liz, why is Liz Warren running? Um, I guess she wants to hold corporations accountable. Uh, uh. Okay, so she did she did split from Sanders on the issue of public utilities. And um gosh, you know, I'm not sure that's what gets you to the to the solution. So tired of your all shucksing. Just, just stop. Um, mm. Pete, mm, he was asked about the air travel. And I'm looking at this like, wait, well, why are you asking Pete? Y'all know I have my problems with Pete. Bernie spent like $2 million last campaign in 2016 on private jet travel. He spent a few hundred dollars in 2018. What are you, why are you picking on Pete? Not to be fucked up, but why are you picking on Pete? Okay, stop picking on Pete. If you're going to ask, you start asking everybody. Everybody needs to state how much they spend on private air travel. I don't think this is fair. And I, me and Pete ain't best friends right now, but I feel like he got singled out right there. That was not fair. Look at me. I sound all. Arr. So stop fucking with Pete. Beto, I felt like he started with a good level of energy, you know, um, 
he has uh, some of the things he said. I was like, well, but I'm not really a climate change expert. So I say well, on why the sky is blue. Um, I guess he wants a cap and trade system, not a carbon tax. And I kind of remember we had cap and trade um, come up as for discussion and all they were going to do cap and trade. And um, that did not go down. We did not get cap and trade. And I, you know, that's the thing about these burners that really ticks me off. They don't remember anything that happened during the Obama age. They don't remember any of the obstruction from Congress. Congress. They don't remember how anything happened. They don't remember these uh, machinations of the GOP to prevent any legislation from from ever being passed. So they're sitting here acting like, oh, all we have to do is uh, just win and then we can just push the policies right through. And and if they don't, then we'll just yell at them and boom, it's going to get it done. And I'm like, that has never worked. Not with these uh, these Republicans. I don't know why you would think that they've gotten softer over over the last few. They're not. They have not. They have not. Evil does not get soft. OK, it also never dies never dies. That's why they live so long. Mm -hmm. Every senator. And McCain, he died kind of young. for oh, Don't they all live to like 130? Jesus Christ. And then we have Cory Booker. Um, he's pretty good. I liked him. His energy was a little bit better. Um, I still feel like he's wanting to get home to his, his fiance or whatever she is. And he needs to just please Go get married. Have some kids. Just stop being all geeked and weird. And I can feel that pouring off you. I'm in love. I'm in love. I just want to shout it to the world. It's springtime all the time. <clears throat> so gross, Corey. Just go marry her and just, shh, just tone that whole thing down. Have a few fights. Okay? Start despising each other a little bit so I can feel better. And for real, and she'd be giggling to my boyfriend. <laughs> You're annoying too. Okay. It's not just him. Get over it. You got nobody's gonna ugh. Just, you know, kick the vibes down. So the moderator, it was Aaron that had Kamala, Kamala Harris, Aaron Burnett. Um, she asked her if she supported changing the dietary guidelines to reduce meat um, consumption. And Harris, she's talking about she'll, well, we would need to encourage moderation and, you know, you shouldn't eat meat every day and we should tell you what's on, on what's, what's in the packages and um, expand on what they say, you know, how like the impact of them to the environment. And, oh man, do you know, these crazy Republicans have been talking about, she wants to ban meat all weekend. It is crazy. I love, she loves burgers, but she want to ban meat. Man, y'all dishonest. Y'all so dishonest. I feel like the debate could not have come at a better time. We needed some, some something preparing people's minds and telling people what the impacts of climate change are. And um, because right after that, we had her, here comes Hurricane Dorian, and it's still going on right now. It has moved up to Nova Scotia. It, it was down there in the Bahamas. Now it's at Nova Scotia. It wrecked through the Bahamas. Um, they are doing pretty bad. So they're devastated down there. It tore through, well, what, probably a few, few days back. My God. Keep the storm victims in your thoughts. And maybe please contact your local Red Cross just to see if they need money. I mean, they need blood. Because, I mean, a lot of times we send money and we see in whatever else we can, we can supplies that they need. And we forget that sometimes they're mostly desperate for blood. Um, blood is one of those things that they run out of really fast. So if you can, or get people that, you know, contact your local Red Cross, contact your blood banks. If you're in the area, close by the area, you don't even really know. They, they, they might need to ship your blood out. Go ahead and give blood if you can. Um, it's, it's, it's one of the best things you can do for people. Sometimes they have these funds going and people are just sending money and it takes time for them to get stuff out there. Blood, you can get that, get, go, to, go down there in the morning and they already know where they're going to send that blood um, before that even gets there, before you ever 
they ever pump it out of your veins because they have a need for it. So try giving blood. Um, I am really sketchy, but I will give blood too. Uh, I should make it a video because I cannot handle needles. Oh my God, it will kill me. So I probably should. So there, I've been doing a lot of stuff, but I'm going to expand on the whole diamond and silk thing. When I got the letter, I cracked up because I'm going to read a little bit to you. Um, Cause you know, we're at the, yeah, I got rid of all the other stuff I needed to do. Um, diamond and silk obviously have the best legal team ever because the amount of errors that they had, they, it was shocking, terribly, terribly shocking. Um, they, uh, that's why I call this episode the besmirchment of diamond and silk because um, they said I besmirched them and um, I disagree vehemently. I don't feel like I just, just, you know, did anything wrong. All I did was describe who they are and what they are. And I feel like they besmirched me by saying that I just besmirched them. So I don't think that's fair. And I said pretty sure. I didn't say I'm definitely sure that they're black, white nationals. I just want to put that out there because they they lie. They lie a lot. Uh, yeah, and I said that, Diamond Silk. So, oh, my God. Okay, so they have some fake lawyer. Okay, his name was Robert. I get something in the mail, um, the in my box, and it's from some random guy named Robert. I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this? And it turns out it's something so stupid. I I couldn't I couldn't even fucking handle it. Um, they they were, they were seriously mad about like some of the some of the dumbest phrases. I'm gonna find one for you, okay? <laughs> Like they were taking, like how you can make exception to this, right? Okay. Uh, which one was it? Right. Oh, they got mad that I said that I'm getting sick and tired of diamond and silk, especially. How are you going to dispute whether I'm getting sick and tired of you? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. If I'm sick and tired of you, I'm sick and tired of you. And that's just what it is. It is what it is, boo. I'm sick and tired of you. So that was weird having them dispute like factual information. Um, what else did they dispute? Oh, so many dumb things. Um, oh, here, here, I'll, I'll read, I'll read it to you. I'm going to read it to you. Dear Bianca Della Rosso, Wonka administrator, it's come to our attention that blogger Bianca Della Rosa have made untruthful and deceptive statements about diamond and silk and or the diamond and silk brand that are both false and misleading. The besmirched statements constitute slander or libel if in writing since they defame the name and the reputation of the diamond and silk brand. We demand that you immediately cease and desist from deliberately and maliciously making these false and slanderous or libelous statements which include, but are not limiting, limited to the following. I'm getting super tired of Diamond and Silk, especially since at this point they've been running this con long, long enough for me to accidentally remember both of their real government names. I've long despised both trolls. I've hated their hair, their animal print, their dumb facial expressions, their jigging and jiving. But most of all, I've hated the way they prop up the most vile white supremacy in their government. And it's time to start calling that shit out. They're the black faces, white nationalism. Hate them for looking so dumb. What? How is that a besmirched statement? She said it said the article deliberately and maliciously slandered and defamed Diamond and Silk and the Diamond and Silk brand by deliberately and malicious. They love deliberately and, and maliciously attaching their name to racist context. Honey, I didn't attach your name to racist context. You attach your name to racist context. Did nobody tell you to do that? Okay, you, Wonkhead blogger Bianca De La Rosa, have 24 hours to remove and delete this article and any related videos or pictures via Twitter. 
Facebook posts, URL, social media sites, emails, and other sources used to circulate and spread misleading, unverified, or falsified information as it pertains to the Diamond and Silk and the Diamond and Silk brand. Brand. Correct and update your statement with accurate and factual information to be shown in the first paragraph ooh, of printed articles or the first five sentences of your statement on any related video or pictures via Twitter, or tweets, Facebook posts, URL, social media sites, email, and other sources used to circ circulate and spread. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Get right on that diamond. So I had 24 hours. I never did. And then she said, if I continue to d deliberately and maliciously create, fabricate, and display slanderous statements and videos, our team will have no choice but to take the appropriate legal steps to protect the reputation of Diamond and Silk and the Diamond and Silk brand, including seeking relief in court of law for monetary damages, you greedy motherfuckers. I ain't got no money. This notice is not to be made public via online sources or any other sources in any manner. This notice serves as your final notice to cease and desist. Sincerely, Diamond and Silk Legal Team. You want me to believe that you had a legal team write this atrocious letter? I'm not, I was just stumbling over the words. It's so poorly written, poorly phrased, and you know about the grammar. They don't have any. They don't know what it is. So I was so not scared of anything Diamond and Silk could do to me. Um, especially since I tagged in lawyers immediately like, hey, can they sue me? I'm just like giving good opinions out here. The best opinions. So they said they, they can't sue me. But like if they did, like I was willing to do a countersuit and I wanted to take it to Judge Judy because I feel like she would make the best decision, you know. And also she has a, she has a, you know, a sharp mouth on her. I think she can understand that I don't like jigging and jiving. I really hate it. Would you just be up there just jigging and jiving? Just stop. Just stop. Ben Carson don't even jig, jig and jive. You know, he just lays there or sits up kind of. Or you could prop him in a booth, you know. That's probably why he takes his wife to events. So, you, yeah, we have problems, 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 problems. So this was my main problem. I'm going to record another episode, right, like maybe in an hour. But I'm going to get this one out to you. Um, yeah, and I'm not going to take too long between uh, episodes anymore. You know, I just had so much going on, and then I had to learn how to use the equipment because some people – you know, just don't do what I asked them to do. So um, remember to call your blood bank and ask them if they're in need of your blood type or if you don't know your blood type, go on down there. They'll get your blood type for you. Um, then you'll always know it. Uh, I think they put it on a little card back in the day for me, but I don't know. Maybe I was just special. So that's been our show. You can follow me if you want to, or if you're not already following me, that's weird at Bravely Writing on Twitter, until I change it, um, or on Facebook at Brave and Act. Um, I also have a couple other Twitter accounts, but like I'm going to have to put some of them like in a locked place or something because I, I can't, I, don't, I guess I can't really manage eight or nine accounts. I felt real bold, right? I was like, yeah, I'm a badass. They ain't going to catch me. I was going to do all, man, all kind of wars. I was going to have wars going. I was going to have all these team members. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even deal with that many Twitter accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of them on hiatus. I'm just going to lock them. And that way, you know, that I'm not using those no more. And, you know, um, if a new batch of weirdos, cause I'm done with the Bernie war, get me banned, then you'll know where to find me. I'll just, I, I'll be over, there. but I'm not, I'm not getting banned anymore. Cause I'm done with Bernie war. And I won. I won. When when saying he they he said I was cool. I said, I'm done. I won. I'm not even gonna start with you again. I'm I'm done. Okay. So yeah. Oh I did did I tell y'all about the Bernie with the speed back? I'll remind remind me to tell you. 
if you haven't seen Bernie with the speed bag, come to my timeline. I will show it to you. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Okay. There's a couple other videos that I have up, you know, they're horrif they're horrifying. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I wouldn't, I wouldn't follow me. It, probably don't. Don't. That, that'll be better for you. All right. That's in the show. And um, you guys take care of yourself because, you know, there's nobody in the world that will actually do it besides you, except for Bernie Sanders, because he's going to take care of everybody. Okay. Everybody for free, for free. Remember that. Love y'all. Goodbye. This has been Brave in the Mail podcast with your host, Bianca. You can follow me on social media, on Facebook at Bravenac, and on Twitter at Bravely Writing. <laughs>